Good morning, kids. We're so happy to be with you guys here today on this wonderful Sunday morning. Um, Drew isn't here today, but we are, and our worship team is filling in for him today. And we are doing For God So Loved the World. So if you know the hand motions to it, more than happy if you guys joined us at home with those hand motions. So let's get it started. kids so let's put our hands together let's close our eyes and bow our heads and let's pray real quick so heavenly father lord i just thank you so much for giving us this wonderful amazing sunday morning to just come and worship you today lord we can't thank you enough for the opportunity that you give us every week um and lord i pray as we're at home that you'd watch over us that you protect us and that um, we'd have full focus on you today and we're going to be excited to learn about you full ears eyes and hearts to you today lord we're going to make this about you today and lord we pray all these things in your holy precious name and all god's children said amen, amen. Thank you guys so much for spending your time worshiping with us. We're going to be getting into our Bible lesson now, and I hope you guys enjoy. Love you guys. Hi, boys and girls. It's Teacher Pam. Thank you for joining us for a time of praising and thanking God. Listen very carefully, and you might hear Teacher Jim's voice, even though you can't see him. Would you like to go on a treasure hunt with me for a treasure? A treasure is something very special. To find the treasure, I need your help with these letters. And they will lead us to the treasure. Help me say the first letter. B. I. B. L. E. Let's put them all together. Help me say them. B, I, B, L, E. Does anyone know what that spells? 
If you said Bible, you are correct. And here is the treasure. It's the Bible, God's Word. The Bible is a treasure book of stories that are true. Let's sing the B-I-B-L-E song. And I have a special friend to sing with us. This is Pete the Parrot. Pete, would you like to say hello to everyone? Hello. Okay, we're going to sing the B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Bible! Yes, Pete? You want to sing it again? Okay, boys and girls, one more time with Pete. The, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Bible! Thanks, Pete. Say goodbye to the boys and girls. Bye. One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. Boys and girls, it's story time. During story time, your eyes are up here on Teacher Pam, your listening ears are on, and your hands are in your lap. Fold your hands and bow your heads and pray with me. Thank you for this day, God. Help us learn more about you today through your word, the Bible. In Jesus' name, amen. The book of Psalms is in the middle of the Bible. It is a book of prayers and songs that help us think about our mighty God. Today, we will learn different ways to pray to God. The first way to pray to God or talk to God is a psalm of praise. Psalm 117 says, praise the Lord. Praising God is saying, I love you, God. Give yourself a hug right now to remember how much God loves you. I love you, God. You are always faithful. You can always be trusted. I love you, God. You keep your promises. I love you, God. You sent your son Jesus to be our perfect savior. We can worship and praise God by singing with instruments like a tambourine or bells. Let's praise God by singing a song to him. And I'm going to use my bells. Praise him, oh, praise, praise him, him, all you little, little children. children. God is love, God is love. Praise him, praise him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. The second way to talk to God or pray to God is to say, I am thankful prayers. Psalm 136 says, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. I am thankful, God, for my mom and dad. I am thankful, God, that you made everything. Thank you, God, for making the moon and the stars. I am thankful, God, that you will always love me. God's love lasts forever. The next way to talk to God, boys and girls, is when we are sad. This is called a prayer of lament. Psalm 3 says that King David cried out to God to protect King David from his enemies. Enemies are people that wanted to hurt King David. God answered King David's prayer. We can also tell God we are sorry and ask God to forgive us. God, I'm sorry I hurt my brother. God, I'm sorry I didn't tell the truth. God hears our prayers and God forgives us when we ask. God is always the one to go to in times of trouble. Another way to talk to God 
is to ask for things. Please, God, will you help me be kind to my family and friends? Please, God, will you make me better when I am sick? Please, God, will you teach me more about you? God hears every prayer. The book of Psalms is the largest book in the Bible. Praising, thanking, and worshiping God must be important to God, and I pray it is important to us too. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for teaching us about the Psalms. Help us continue to learn about your word, the Bible, and grow wiser each day. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, we have a memory verse today, and it comes from the book of James, which is towards the back of the Bible. It's James 1, verse 5. If any of you needs wisdom, please ask God. That comes from James 1, verse 5. We're going to sing it together to the tune of London Bridge. And I, Pete is going to sing this with us too. You ready, Pete? If any of you needs wisdom, needs wisdom, needs wisdom, if any of you needs wisdom, please ask God. James 1 verse 5. When we ask God for wisdom, God will help us do what is right. Let's sing it one more time. You ready, Pete? If any of you needs wisdom, needs wisdom, needs wisdom, if any of you needs wisdom, please ask God. James 1 verse 5. God will help you do what is right. Now, Miss Sherry will show you how to make a tambourine craft at home. You can use your instrument to praise God. Bye, boys and girls. I pray we will see you at church very soon. Good morning, Calvary kids. Didn't you just love Teacher Pam and Pete the Parrot's lesson on praising in the Psalms? I did. I thought it was great. So today we are going to make a tambourine. Praise the Lord. This is my tambourine. Everybody's is going to look different, but mine says praise the Lord in everything. And in Psalms 136, verse 8 and 9, I love that psalm, it says to, that his faithful love endures forever. He gives the sun to rule by day and the stars and the moon to rule by night. His faithful love endures forever. So what I did to help me remember this psalm, I did a sun, I did the moon and the stars, I did a ruler to let me know who rules and his faithful love with a heart. And I used curling ribbon. I love curling ribbon. So the things that you're going to need, you might have different kinds of paper plates at home, which is great. So you can use what I use, which is the floppy kind right here. Or you can use the kind that have the color with the white on the other side. Those are really good too. They're harder, stiff. Or you could use styrofoam paper plates. I'm going to show you a couple of the plates that my grandkids did. When I, I said, we're going to make tambourines for our Sunday school lesson, so will you make me some? And they were really happy to do it. So the little one, he used a styrofoam plate. And I just so happened to have some bells in my Christmas stuff. I bet your moms have some bells in your Christmas stuff. So if you want to make some with bells, ask your moms. So he did, and it says, praise the Lord, and he drew a really cute picture. That's his tambourine. My other grandson drew a really nice cross. He's thankful that Jesus died on the cross. And his says, praise God for Jesus. And he used beans. And he also used some little ribbon here. 
Now my next grandson, his was a little different, but this is what he was thankful for. Thankful for the United States. He was thanking God. And so he used glitter, he used beads, he used markers, he used pipe cleaners. His sounds pretty cool. He used this kind of plate for his, so it has a different sound to it. It's pretty nice. So what you're going to need is the paper plate of your choice. You're going to need a hole puncher if you have one. And if you don't have one, your mom can get creative and help you figuring out how to do that. You'll need a scissors so you can cut the ribbon. You'll need markers. You'll you have to use your parents' glue for this project. The glue stick is not going to work. It's just not strong enough. So you're going to have to use, if you use the tacky glue, it's going to take about an hour or so to dry before you're able to, um, to use it. Otherwise, the beans might go flying everywhere. Or what I used was my hot glue gun. If you use a hot glue gun, I'm sure your parents are going to have to help you with that. But it works really fast. And then I used curling ribbon. And there's other kinds of ribbon. There's hair ribbon you can use. Or you can use curling ribbon. Or you can use pipe cleaners. There's all kinds of things you can use. You can use beads, bells. It's your choice. Okay? So the first thing you're going to do is draw your design. This is the design that I chose, okay? So when you're done with drawing it with markers or whatever you want to do, remember Teacher Pam said that there was the I love you Psalms, so you could do something that you love God about. Tell him what you love him for. Thankful, tell him what you're thankful for. Uh, praising him. And you probably wouldn't use the lament or the ones that you're telling them you're sorry for. But anyway, there's a lot to choose from. There are 150 psalms. So, you make your design. When you're done with that, then you get the other paper plate and you put a few beads, about a handful of beads, and you put it in the plate and then, after you're done with that, if you have a hot glue gun, it's, it's good to use your hot glue gun. And you have to make sure to go around all of the edges, okay? And same with the tacky glue. Don't miss any part of the edge, okay? Otherwise, the beans will fall out. And if you have little brothers or sisters around, you don't want them to get a hold of those. So, you use your hot glue gun. You go all the way around. A glue gun works pretty fast. And then you glue the pieces together, the plates. Glue the plates together. And with the hot glue gun, it does, it goes really fast. Didn't you love when Teacher Pam and, and Pete the Parrot saying the memory verse of James 1, 5. Of, if any of you lacks wisdom, you can ask of God who gives generously. Yay, praise the Lord for that one. Okay, so here is our ribbon. I cut a really long strip and now I am going to use my scissors. This is curling ribbon. I love curling ribbon and I'm gonna curl it and it makes a nice curl. And I think I'm gonna use two colors like I did on the other one. So here we go. Let's curl it. It's so fun to curl ribbon. Okay. Let's see. And then with your hole punch, you punch the hole right here, okay? And then you're gonna stick it through. And after you stick it through, then you're gonna Tie it in a knot, and then I did two hole punches for this one, and I did two pink and two blue. Doesn't it look awesome? I love it. Praise the Lord. So, 
That is our tambourine. Now remember, you can use bells. They sound awesome too. Whoops, I lost one. Okay, so let's go through our memory verse again. I'm not gonna sing it for you because I don't have Peep the Parrot. It's James 1, 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God and it will be given to him. Now I'm going to pray and then we'll be done. And I hope, I hope we get to see you soon. We miss you so much. I pray, Father, that you will bless these kids. I pray, Father, that you will instill it in their hearts how to praise you and to love you through every circumstance. We hope to see them soon, Lord. We pray you'll keep them healthy. And God bless them, please, in your name. Amen. Have a good day, guys, and hope to see you soon.